Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is another depth year update. I haven't done an update since the end of January, so I thought I would get you guys up to speed as to how I've been doing since then with my depth year intentions. So, you know, when I started this depth year, I knew that there would be hiccups along the way, and that was to be expected. And certainly, there have been some slip-ups since the end of January, and, you know, that's, that's totally fine. I'm not beating myself up over it. Depth year is meant to be something to help me and not feel like it's um, complete restriction and punishment, right? So uh, I feel like overall I haven't been doing terribly. I've been pretty good. I will just go down the list of my depth year intentions that I set up at the very beginning of the year and yeah, I'll let you guys know how I've been doing. First off, I have been pretty good about my intention of not buying any more bullet journaling supplies and just using what I have until I run out and then of course I can restock. And I managed to finish my first bullet journal. And this was a a great exercise in figuring out what works for me in terms of setup and in terms of trackers and um, how much I want to put into decorating and it's it's been great going deeper with bullet journaling and I'm quite pleased with the setup that I've I've come to settle on so far and so I have I finished this at the end of April. So this went from March of 2018 to February of 2019, so a year. And then I started this one. And I bought, I didn't buy this. My, my mother-in-law bought this for me for a Christmas present. And so I rewrote all of my depth theory intentions on this first page so that I can keep track and keep them in mind and have since started this bullet journal. And I have been continuing at the end of each month to track my depth theory hits and misses for that particular month. So this has been going well. Let's see what else, okay. Another goal that I had was no new crystals, which I have kept to. No new jewelry, just wear the jewelry that I currently own and have forgotten about. I have been good on that as well. Curate my closet. I have already done that and if anything, it's kind of dire, like my need of clothes. My, <laughs> I do actually need clothes, but I am so uninterested in clothes shopping. That has gotta be at the very, very bottom of my shopping interests. And I like to shop, but I don't like to shop for clothes. But when your own husband is telling you that you actually need clothes, then yeah, that might be a sign um, I have to kind of replenish my wardrobe. We'll see. Okay, no more coloring books. I have kept to that intention as well. I have quite a number of coloring books with blank pages I haven't colored. And I mentioned in my very, very first depth year video that I would maybe even try to go deeper with the coloring and you know, try some um, s techniques and different skills with blending and all that. And I really just haven't. And that might be an intention that goes by the wayside, wayside because it's not super important to me. Um, coloring's meant to be fun and mindless. So if I don't really feel like it, then I'm not going to. But at least I have not purchased any new coloring books or any new coloring book supplies, like no new 
um, markers or colored pencils or anything like that. For tarot and oracle, okay, my intention was no more than one tarot or oracle purchase a month. And I did have a slip up in March where I bought two tarot decks, which isn't terrible. It's not terrible. And um, I plan to get back on the saddle with that because at this point, honestly, there aren't really many decks that I'm, well, that's not true. There are decks that I am interested in, but I have really thought about them and realized that it's, uh, I just don't need them in my collection. And even though they're beautiful and tempting, they'll probably go neglected. And so some of those decks, so for instance, I resisted buying or backing on Kickstarter the Skeletero. So Monique from Dead Serious Woo, she um, ta flagged me on, on Instagram and she was like, Julie, did you, have you seen this deck? Because she knows I like um, skeletons and she introduced me to the skeleton tarot, which I absolutely adore. And this uh, Skeletero was a, a Kickstarter campaign and super cute. And I was very tempted. I almost did back that deck on Kickstarter, but then I really um, paused, I considered my depth your intentions, and and I thought to myself, you already have one skeleton deck that you are absolutely in love with. Does this skeleton deck, while awesome, the artwork is great, it's cute, it's totally, it's totally my Turkish delight, right? But, you know, between the two, do I, do I really need another one? Or can I be satisfied and fulfilled with the skeleton deck that I had, have? And I ultimately decided I'm good. I'm good not to um, get the Skeletero. So I resisted that one. I resisted the Crow Tarot. That's pretty popular right now. And I understand why, because it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. And I, I can see the appeal and I was pretty close to buying that one as well. But my thing with animal decks, I just don't reach for them. I just don't. And so I had to, remind myself, okay, you know, I love animals. I think animal decks are beautiful. I just don't use them all that much. So while I did slip up with my tarot guideline, I also think I did really well in reining myself in and not just impulsively purchasing all the pretty, all the pretty decks out there um, and really thinking about why it is I was having these compulsions to to get the deck. And that, that's been progress for me. That's been progress. But I really have to let go of the FOMO mentality. And it is this very delicate balance of my wanting to experience all the different decks and then at the same time feeling overwhelmed with the number of decks that I have and feeling like I'm not giving them enough attention because there are so many of them. Another intention for my depth here was to go deeper with Les Normand and Marseille, which I haven't done so much, but for the month of April, I have um, committed to working with the Fairy Tarot, which is a Pip style deck as one of my working decks of the month, as well as the 1989 Lenormand to get back into that system. I also, uh, for depth here, wanted to go deeper with my writing. And that has been pretty spotty. I would say that at the start of the year, I, I did make some progress, but then in March, it was, it, it came to a halt and, um, you know, I talk about this in my March recap, which is, it was just a stressful month. 
And then on top of that, I was beta, beta reading a manuscript for someone else. And so that took up much of my time. And I just wanted to get that done and dusted before refocusing on my own projects. And so for the month of April, I am participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, which is simply a more flexible version of the popular NaNoWriMo that happens every November. Uh, the November NaNoWriMo is restricted to novel writing and it goes by word count. Camp NaNo is just more laid back. It's not restricted to novel writing. It can be anything, any genre, even journaling. And you can track your progress by word count or by the number of hours you do devote to your project. So um, a few of the other um, writers participating in Depth here and I, we have a little virtual cabin. And as of yesterday, April 1st, we started our Camp NaNoWriMo for, for our writing. And I managed to get in an hour of revising. That is my project for this month, which is to finally finish my revisions for my manuscript. And so my goal is 30 total hours of revisions. So that is an average of one hour a day, uh, every day for the month of April. And so I managed to do an hour yesterday, which felt great. Today, I'm going to try to do a little bit tonight and we shall see how it goes, but I'm really excited to be refocusing on my writing again. Another depth of your intention is to borrow books from the library as much as possible. And that I think I will need to reevaluate as I go along because, um, I mean, the whole reason that I want to use the library more is that I prefer print books over e-reader. I just do. Call me old school, but I love print books. And if I see a print book on my nightstand, I'm more apt to read as opposed to having my iPad sitting there. So I thought that the library would be a great way to have those print books without amassing, you know, more books on my shelf because I did a huge decluttering years ago and I've since kept it pretty good. And also save money and yeah, just use the library, which is a wonderful free resource. But I have found that um, because my reading schedule has been just all over the place and I really haven't done a lot of reading. I've kind of been holding on to books and my library, you uh, they only give you like two weeks and you can renew twice if a library has, if a library, if a book hasn't, that you have hasn't already been requested by somebody else. So I'm still trying to use the library. I have this to read. And as you can see, it is a, a substantial number of pages. For me, when you get past like 300 some, that starts to feel lengthy to me. And I am not, I'm not by any means the slowest reader, but I am not a super fast reader. And this is a popular book that has a waiting list. And so I had to request it um, and I only get two weeks to read this book and then I have to return it and I am not able to renew because it's already been requested by others. And so I think that when it comes to situations like this, because I really don't think I'm gonna get this done in two weeks. I just don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna try. But in cases like this, I have decided, okay, if the print book is not much more expensive than the Kindle version on Amazon, that I'm just gonna buy the print book. 
and I have little libraries in my neighborhood that after I'm done reading, I can just put it in the little library and let others, you know, have a, have a read. Um, so that way I have as much time as I want and need with the book and I don't feel like I'm uh, restricted on time. And then I'm also not gaining a, a collection of printed books again to sit on the shelf and not be touched. And, um, and I still get the satisfaction of a print book. I think that's really it for my depth here intentions. I, another intention is to read more in general, which as I said, it's, it's been all over the place. I really haven't read as much as I've wanted to, um, but I'm still working on it. I'm still doing my best to make the time for that because I really do miss reading. Uh, I used to read so much more in years past and I, it's since fallen away, you know, so, and that makes me a little sad. So I want to really get back into to reading. That is it for me in terms of uh, my depth year so far. If you are participating in a depth year, let me know how you are doing with your intentions. And as always, I really appreciate that you would spend the time with me and I will see you in the next video. Take care.